this is tutorial number nine and in this tutorial I'm going to talk about patterns in biology as you know patterns are quite important in different aspects related to biological systems and in bioinformatics it's quite important to find different patterns like different tandems as I wrote here recognition sequences for restriction enzymes protein motifs you may have different protein motifs that you want to find different domains sometimes you need to differentiate mRNA sequences in a list of DNA sequences or RNA sequences and separate them put them in a different file also incremental design of primer sets before conducting PCR or designing PCR primers for degenerate PCR there is something else that is called incremental KMA finding. This is also a technique that requires you to be able to find patterns in a sequence. So let's go ahead and try some techniques to find different patterns. Python has a library called RE, which stands for regular expression, and you've got to import this one, this module. In this library, there are lots of functionalities available for you, different functions in a class, and it's quite easy to use. The first thing to write is to write down import RE. The basic syntax for regular expressions that we use here in this tutorial is that you write RE dot search, then open close parentheses, and in between the parentheses you write down the desired pattern and then a variable that contains the string so in this tutorial we have a variable called DNA and it has a DNA sequence then we try to find different patterns of DNAs within that DNA sequence like a tandem for recognition sequence let's say so I chose several DNA recognition sequences for enzymes and within that DNA sequence that I have will find them whether they exist or not using regular expressions so hold shift and press enter to load the regular expression module the first technique is to find a span of a tandem within the DNA sequence so this is the DNA variable that, that I talked about earlier and I wrote R here before the open quotation mark and that R is specifically important while using regular expressions because R stands for ignore special characters we will search for this tandem here first what we do is to write down print RE dot search this is our pattern here so this is the pattern that I'm going to search for within the DNA sequence variable where is the pattern? I can see two patterns similar to this one that I want to find. This is one of them and this one here is another pattern. Well I want the exact one to be returned for me so let's run this line of code and see what we get. So that's what we got from nucleotide number 23 which is actually number 24 because it starts from 0 to 31 so it was actually the second one which was this region you could find it with a block of code without using this library but using regular expressions it's just one line of code so why not using it it tells you that the match is equal to this one and this is the span now you found it we can use this technique to find out the recognition sequences of enzyme in a DNA sequence. So I got equal R1 here and X bar 1. These are the recognition sequences for those enzymes respectively. And to find those, we try to use regular expression search. So I put the strings into variables, naming them with the name of the enzymes and I wrote down an if statement like this one if 
this pattern is found in DNA sequence in the DNA that I have print this statement and if it is not there print this statement instead so let's run this see whether it's found or not it tells me xbar1 recognition sequence or site is found in the DNA sequence so it was found if you would like to print it out print out the span you could use the previous line of code so you could say print re dot search xbar1 DNA and see what you would get the span is from 34 to 40 so you can go back here and see from 34 to 40 it's from here TCTAGA so this is XBAR1 now what if the restriction enzyme has two recognition sequences we can use a number of techniques to find out whether any one of them is found in the DNA sequence one of those techniques that we can use is to use OR operator so we could have a variable containing both of them and they are separated by OR operator that's not tedious but we'll try another technique another technique that we could use is to use pipe character pipe has the same meaning as OR character so we'll use it like this if you have a look we write down if re.search this is the pattern that we are going to search within the pattern we write down open close parentheses then the two nucleotides that are variable like in the recognition sequence for example for AVA2 we have GGACC and GGTCC so A and T are the variable ones we separate them by pipe character this is the pipe character and then the last remaining characters so what does that mean so it means GG a C C or G G T C C so this one and this one here are variables so we put this one here and this one here separate them by this pipe character so in order to write this kind of code in regular expressions you could say gg then open close parentheses a or t so a or t with a pipe character cc so now a or t is represented by pipe character for regular expressions i hope it's clear so if this one is found in that dna sequence print the recognition sequence of AVA2 is found in the DNA sequence so let's find out whether it's found or not so it is found we could also print it out to see the span it's found in between nucleotide number 5 to nucleotide number 10 in the DNA sequence you have GACC so it could be GACC or GTCC it writes it for you it's GGACC next is how to deal with n character recognition sequences so what if your recognition sequence contains n r or y characters sometimes you find these kind of weird characters in your DNA sequence and you don't know how to search for a given recognition sequence of a restriction enzyme in your DNA sequence in order to find these kind of n characters Python has these open close brackets and whatever nucleotide you put there becomes any like A, T, C, G are the variables that are given to you write it this way it means any this means any nucleotide so instead of writing N you write ATCG in between brackets and that's it it's important for you to notice that R means purine which stands for adenine or guanine 
we can represent this by using the pipe character which we used in the previous technique. Y stands for thiamine and cytosine which is pyrimidine. Now we have a recognition sequence called MSPJ1 which has CNNR as the recognition sequence. So it could be C, C, G, A. It could be like this. It could be C, A, A for example, and G. So any one of those could do. There are a number of possibilities. So how to find any one of those possibilities in a given DNA sequence? This is how you represent it you write down the first constant nucleotide then followed by open and close brackets this is for the first n you write ATCG in between the brackets then you do the same thing for the next n which is this one right here and for the R you write A and G separated by a pipe character and that's it so you have C N, N, and R. So let's find out whether it is found and find the span of this recognition sequence within the DNA. So it tells you that the span is from nucleotide number 10, which is the 11th one, to 14, and the match is C, T, C, G. The C, the first C, is constant, while the second C is variable. And the last one, G, which is this one for the purine, is found as G within the DNA sequence. So it could be any other possibilities, but Python found it for you using regular expression. In the next tutorial, I'm going to go through the process of searching for multiple Ns, Rs, and Ys in a DNA sequence. So what if you have a tandem of Ns and you search for a particular tandem in a DNA sequence. That would be the subject of the next tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you for joining me here.